Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's obviously most crucially integral to the fabric of our very nature. Today we talk about the first time I got a blowjob, the girl jumped out of a window immediately afterwards. He walked right up to me and kicked me straight in the testicle. I gotta get these braces off so they don't get caught up in your pubic hair. Quick to see ya. Here we go. Ow! Yeah, baby. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> I <laughs> got nothing. Knock it, Grandma! Oh, boy. We're getting into it already? Already? For ready, ready? Mm. Now, what Blake, are you up? trying to tell us you have <laughs> diarrhea? <laughs> um, what yeah, you, what's going on? It's definitely on, on the cusp, for yeah. sure. Did you have some beers? Is that what's happening? You, you're currently on the cusp of it? I, I, uh, I didn't shit right for like, this is, you know, TMI out right. the gate, but <laughs> for like two straight weeks. Coming on fire, baby. Because of, I think, my borderline alcoholism. I was mm-hmm. drinking so much that borderline? all my shits were uh, were super liquid, dude. Very mm-hmm. gross style. And and then I was like, it can't just be the booze. That can't be it. And then I haven't drank in like two weeks because I'm trying to clean my act up and, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, snap this chin fat back in shape. And right. uh, my, my shits are so solid now, dude. It, it turns <laughs> out... You got some real healthy logs happening. It, it is the booze. <laughs> oh my god! I wish we yeah. had the, uh, you know, when like you screen a movie to see if it tests well or not. Like, wish we had those. <laughs> do we get to see dials. the results of this conversation just dialing up and dialing <laughs> nose diving right now? <laughs> Doo-doo. I don't know. I think our fans are here for hot, hot mm-hmm. diarrhea talk. Dude, I well, if we're gonna if we're talking <laughs> diarrhea out the gate, I'm gonna let you guys know wh- how I was feeling because it wasn't I wasn't feeling good there for a while. Dude, you know how some people call uh, they're like I- I'm not really into scatological humor. <laughs> they almost who says as that? If you can't, people people who are above like shit dookie jokes they go uh, like mm, it's, uh, it's a little too scatological for me. I, I guess I've never talked talked to them so. Yeah, fuck them, man. Oh, yeah. You're talking... I forget you, like, have fancy friends that say things like scatological. Yeah, you're highbrow. Yes. My, my, I'm friends with candles. That's how fancy I am. <laughs> you're very highbrow, oh, with, dude. Mm, mm, with mm. candelabras. <laughs> and that's another episode of... <laughs> Did you guys see the uh, UFC fan that called me out that I yeah. thought I was getting called out uh, for a fight? How about that? Yeah, not, well, shit, uh, like a fighter. He just had won a fight, huh? Yeah, he just won the fight. His name is Puna, and then <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to butcher his last name. Hey. Ser- Serena? Serrano? Puna? Very cool. Yeah. Ser- uh-huh. So Poor you're a huge fan. Dude, I don't know. I don't know anything about. Now he's going to beat you up. And and he they said on the, the video, they were like, well, t- for people that didn't see it, he was like, uh, do you want to call anyone out? And he's like, yeah, I want to call out Adam Devine, the actor yeah. from Workaholics. Yeah. And I was like, wait, is he getting, is he calling me out for like a fight? Because that would be so mm-hmm. scary. What are we, t- <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah. Like, uh, let's break it down purse wise. Have you guys heard about that new uh, chokehold? And Blake, I'm going to need you to help me out on this one. Mm. It's mm. called a rear. It's a bagel. No, <laughs> you're supposed to hit me with the naked grandma. It's oh, wait, rear. do it again. It's it's actually called the rear. Naked grandma. There you go. And it is uh, pretty deadly. <laughs> the rear naked grandma. Uh, yeah, that Why sounds not? real. That sounds real as hell. So what's up with this guy? He's just Wait. he's just a fan. No, I think he was just like a big fan. Someone uh, like a, a few of his friends were like DMing me, saying like wish him good luck. But I don't really, you know, I don't know the yeah, guy. Uh, right, and, yeah. You know, so so I didn't do it, and you know, I did not respond to any of these DMs. And then wow. he calls me out in like a press conference. What the hell? Right now he's getting the shout out. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, what's up, Puna? I guess he's a big fan of the podcast. He listens every week. My my main man, Puna. Who knew we had yeah, a UFC? Uh, uh, a lot of the UFC athletes are into us. At least yeah, one. Yeah. That's more than I kind of thought. I feel like they would like to listen to us because they're like, I think those guys are fun and I could beat them all up. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> they only listen to stuff. <laughs> Or maybe we're like they've been hit in the head so many times that like we're the only we're the we're the level of comedy that they're they feel comfortable with. Okay, for sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. They, that good they, low brow. They don't say the word scatological. Yeah. They like the scatological. Yeah, they love the scatological. 
I like that they're scatological the for the most part. Uh, I'm really yeah. pissed that none of us ever MMA like trained. I'm really pissed. I'm fucking furious. Yeah, I've never I, seen you this mad, dude. You're I so charged. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't really see that for... If any of us would do it, I would see it would be Blake, to be honest. There was a moment when I was going to start walking down that path. What? When? Yeah. I know. Well, <laughs> we were kind of... What is it called? Rubbing shoulders? Bumping elbows? What is it? <laughs> both. Both are... <laughs> we're, wait, yeah. we're waiting for you to... I don't well, you know. know what we is would, it? Both are, are phrases. You know, yes. we would pull up to like those Spike TV parties. Do docking? Are you talking about docking? <laughs> I was docking this Wait, MMA are you, fighter. Yeah, are you so, are you soaking? Is this yeah. when you got into soaking? Yeah, Did I you was put soaking. him in a rear. Take <laughs> well, <laughs> <Chicken> a grandma. <laughs> Thank you, grandma. Um, no, we were like we were like at parties, like Spike TV parties, and like MMA dudes would be there and shit, UFC fighters. And I remember becoming friends. I can't remember his name anymore, but mm -hmm. my God, what a fan! And a, and what a <laughs> this story. Guy, this guy was ready to to turn pro. So wait, so you met a guy one time? No, I met him at several events. Like he would be like my drinking buddy. Like when you and guys then? weren't there. When were we not there? We were always there at every uh, every event. I don't know. The way he we're said I, we me. went to Spike TV parties, I was like, maybe twice. But it sounds like you might have been just going to... Were you? Yeah, every, every year you were just showing <laughs> yeah. up. They're I'm like, sorry. I guess we'll let him in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> let me backstage. Are we talking Spike TV or Spike Ball? Dude, I was just in the audience for Guys' Choice Awards. I was so hyped. Right. Like, uh, as an usher, you were like, as hey, a feet, player. As a seat filler. You, hey, y'all got these four right here, player. Yeah. You sit there, okay? I, I, yeah, I you're just a, a featured extra uh, at the I, Guys' I, Choice Award. I was just a seat filler of, like, four years in a row because I just wanted to be close to the action, to my guy I cons. It. I get it. I could see that for I you. I wanted to see who took home the buckhorns, baby. But I do feel like Blake, Blake's got wrestling in his mm. jeans. Right. Okay. Yes. At, at least one time I saw mm. him wrestling something in his jeans. Uh, um, well, no, 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 no. Blake <laughs> says he has wrestling in his jeans. I do. Also, my whole family wrestled. Like your. They're also from Iowa. I know he's going to mention being from <laughs> Iowa when yeah. he's not. It's, Iowa's the wrestling capital of America, right? That's that's fair to say, huh? I think, yeah, at least at one point. I don't know if it still is, but it for sure mm -hmm. was when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was big shit. In Iowa, which Blake did not grow up in Iowa. He, he likes to... No, but I'm Ooh. the firstborn Wait, Californian. Adam, <laughs> what is with the heat from Adam? As if this isn't something you guys might have connected on when you first met. You're like, yeah, uh, what? oh, Iowa Waterloo. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, me too. No, and then no, we never did. He always tried oh. to out Iowa me, dude. It was actually kind of weird. <laughs> How I could like, I do that? I, dude, I don't know why you acted that way. Okay, well, ready? Pop quiz. Iowa. The the name of the mascot for Iowa University of Iowa is the Hawkeye. The Hawkeye. Okay, and the mascot for Iowa State University is Cyclones. Oh shit! It's a dead tie. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you are running out of all the knowledge that you <laughs> have in about Iowa. Corn, uh, corn. Field of, yeah, damn it, you got it. Ames, Ames, Iowa. Dreams. Field of, yeah, yeah. Is this yeah. heaven? No, it's Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like we both stutter steps on that one a little bit. We were both like, okay, ready? Spell Iowa. Spell Iowa. I O W A. <laughs> no, what if your boys? <laughs> Blake <laughs> didn't even try. He was like, can't. I can't, dude. Adam blazed through that one. That dude, I always... Yeah, man. I'm literally from Iowa. I was there till I was 10 years old, and then we moved to Nebraska. I'm a yeah. very... Oh, so you left it hanging? Yeah. You yeah. claim Nebraska. <laughs> wow. I still rep Iowa, even though I... You never <laughs> lived from there. there. Wait, how, and how many times have you been there, Blaze? To, to Iowa? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Let's, let's cover Alaska, Belize. and then we'll circle back to Iowa. I yes. think like five times. Maybe five times. Oh, okay. Yeah, worth claiming then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adam woke up hundreds of times in Iowa. Dude, I was there uh, several hundred times. As a young boy. I know, but I feel like if you go to Nebraska, you have to. they draw a line in the sand. They got beef, Iowa and Nebraska. So you kind of uh, went to the other side. Nebraska's known for the beef. Dude, they they have beef like any border like any border state <laughs> has beef. They're like, "Oh, fucking these idiots don't know how to drive." Who gives a shit? They don't really what? care. No, but that's like the first time. 
No, that's for sure a thing. They in Wisconsin they call Illinois people fibs, fucking Illinois bastards. There's beef. Yeah, I know there's beef, but it's not like it, a real beef. It's not like if and I'm not talking Omaha steaks. <laughs> it's not like if you're uh, have a barbecue and then someone yes, from boy. Iowa comes to our barbecue in Omaha, Nebraska, we're like, get the fuck out. It's not Hatfield and McCoys. At first, at first, but I know six deep it gets a little frisky. Yeah, man. <laughs> You know that. I know it does. I know it does. Okay, okay Dude, Iowa. It gets terrible. Exactly. When I was in Nebraska, remember they kept saying that Iowa stood for idiots out walking around? And I was like, whoa, Ooh, I never that's, heard that. That's amazing. It's so <laughs> oh, yeah. bad. It's yeah, that's yes, perfect. <laughs> that is what they say. <laughs> I had never heard that before. The funniest drunk dude in a group is like, it fucking stands for <laughs> idiots out walking around. <laughs> Or oh my god! <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta make sure it's yeah, yeah. points, dude. Yes, points. points! Can we can we make up a better one right now on the spot? No, I don't know if we can. No, that's a that's a great one. Imbeciles. Yeah. It is yeah. out walking uh <laughs> assholes. Idiotic. Idiotic. Idiots. Did you just say idiotic idiots outdoor out walking assholes? <laughs> Warts on their asshole. Okay, you had it on the yeah, yeah, it's like wandering around is probably that's the cleanest, I would say. That's pretty good. But what yeah. does it even mean, Nate? Just means they're out walking around like <laughs> idiots. But are they idiots out wandering around? Yeah. <laughs> are they? Yeah. Allegedly. Just, I mean, allegedly. I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. This is true. This is true. I don't know. I'm Let's sure there's idiots way. out walking around everywhere. <laughs> right. That's why I'm like. But it just that's not the name of the state. I'm going to start using the word Iowa to describe, like, a music festival. Like, how was it? I don't know. It's kind of Iowa. Wow. Well, there's a bunch of Iowas there. <laughs> you know, Okey like... Dokey. No shots fired to get to Iowa. Go Iowa. But... Yeah, you guys need to stop talking shit about my freaking home state, bro. Yeah, but right. I will say that Blake does have that that long lean... Thank which you. ...which can be good in wrestling. There we go. Right? Mm. Yeah, what is the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait. Wrestlers are long and lean. I thought they were very short. Well, you he, uh, no, sorry, not re not wrestling, but you look like an MMA, MMA fighter. MMA, like you yes. could be Thank an you. MMA fighter. He has a high waist, long legs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, using using uh. his legs for kicks. Short short torso. Yeah, so he's doing some. Oh my gosh, he's the guy from Bloodsport who was like doing this, and Jean Claude's like, okay. Oh yeah, like revving the Harley. Yeah, like starting a motorcycle. I'll yeah. put the the thing up there, and then he fucking kicked him. Like, oh, you fell for God, it. God, I I just I don't think I would ever want to do mma though it looks so painful when they the thing i hate the most is when they just start kicking each other in the fucking legs like yes. that look and the sound the like yeah yeah everything else i'm cool with but the leg kicking is like what the hell dude wait 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 wait. let's just put this out there you're cool with everything else yeah. in mma except for the leg kicks copy leg that Dude, the leg kicking. You're, you're cool with those spinning backhanded punches <laughs> to the face? It is It is cool that... The jumping knee? <laughs> yes. That we saw this come out of nowhere. Like, remember when UFC first started? It, there was, yes. like, literally no rules. And we people were just, who, like, biting each other and shit. And can we like, just say who the OG was? Ken Shamrock. Oh, yeah. Then he went WWE. Ken Shamrock was the name I remember oh, from sure. childhood where it was just like... Dan Severin. The Beast. Is that before or after Sham Shamrock? Uh, they were around the same time, I think. And then there was this one dude. And of course, like, Hoist Gracie. Then, yeah. Hoist Gracie and, like, the whole Gracie clan. I, and then, I, like, I like all the MMA fans right now that listen to our podcast <laughs> are fucking Jizzing. losing their minds. No. Yeah. Not not in <laughs> a good pissed. way. They're going like, no, these fucking they idiots hate it. <laughs> don't know no. anything. Hey, what about Tank Abbott? But shout out to the one dude with the mustache. The one dude with the mustache was tight. That's Dan Severin. Okay. The beast. Okay. okay, Big Dan. Okay, but I liked right. Tank Abbott. He was just like this fat dude, and he was like a bouncer, and like he would he had no skill except he'd punch people. See, that's what we need. I, I, there has to be. There's there's like other leagues, right? Like rough and rowdy or some shit. <laughs> I, I, I believe that's I a think league. that's a strip club. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> hey, could he could yeah. be? Uh, Sounds like a cool strip club. Remember, there was that. Uh, what was that one? Like tough guys or something? It was like on FX. And it was just like construction workers fighting each other. That's what I want to see. I want to see guys yeah. that like 
might win a bar fight, but have no real skills outside of. I mean, that's that. Kim, was that Kimbo Slice R.I.P. Like he was like a backyard fighter who then I think tried to go pro and it kind of became. Yeah, he did. And he got it. I want to say whooped. Got his ass whooped. Well, because yeah. he wasn't technical. He was just aggressive and like you couldn't get into to punch him in the face. He was just so, so like top heavy, but I don't know if he had like the best legs. I, I don't know what we're talking mm. about, but uh, yeah, he, did, no he got worked. Mm, I don't know <laughs> if he had the best legs. I think he got taken to the ground and then it was over. <laughs> yeah, it's a totally different game now though. It's so like- Did you guys ever get into any uh, like fights in high school or middle school? Mm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, uh-uh. I never got in any fights. You never did? No. Cool, because everyone, you were, um, what they call you? Afro embryo? Afro fetus. Yeah. Afro fetus. <laughs> like, no no one's going to fight yes. Afro fetus. <laughs> Zip it. And you're already <laughs> Afro fetus. I don't know. I feel like I, I was cruising for a bruising, but I always uh, talk my way out of it. I just feel like it was just gym class. Like, you'd fight somebody in gym class twice a year. Like, it throw nice. hands? Yeah, it would just get physical, like somebody's crowding a plate or whatever, and you're like, I'm going to blow through this dude. A plate of food? Huh? No, <laughs> oh. like uh, in, in gym class, crown the plate, like playing kickball or baseball, softball, whatever. And you say, I'm going to light this bitch up. Somebody's like hacking in basketball, and you're like, look, I'm not even that good. I'm not going to make it. You don't need to foul me like that. <laughs> So you had to throw hands. I know. Dur Durs is the one to snap. He'll snap yeah. on you. Yeah. You were getting guarded too hard? No. It I just feel like it was a, I feel like it was a physical, yeah. I just feel like there was a lot of physicality <laughs> happening in gym class. Right. Hey, and stop like, blocking my shot, dude, or I'm going to fight you. <laughs> no, but like when it, when you get hacked, when you're getting hacked and you're like, what? You We've all seen those Instagram clips of people where it's like, is he playing too hard? And it's like a dude dragging somebody <laughs> yeah. to the ground and you're like. But that's how the game is played in middle school and high school, homie. That's just, there's no finesse yet. There's no skill. No, I'm with you. I, I feel like I, it wasn't that for me. It was if I ever felt slighted in any, in any way. Right. You would slowly poison them over months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would constantly pour a little something into their drinks. A yeah. <laughs> no, if if it was, I remember the, like the first day of school when I moved to from Iowa to Nebraska. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Like one of the kids, Chris Bauer. What's up, Chris? He pushed off of me. <laughs> allegedly, and to I Do allegedly he did, and he pushed off of me, and I was like, oh shit, I'm the new kid. This is like prison. There, if he pushes off of me, I will be a bitch at this school. <laughs> For the rest of forever. Sorry, what does push off of you mean? Yeah, like we're like, playing football. So it, right, he like right, pushed right. me to the ground. He was much bigger. In gym class? Uh, recess. Okay, okay, fair enough. I'm just okay. saying. Like yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. Here we and are. I remember <laughs> thinking like it wasn't the act of getting pushed. It was like, oh, if I don't stand up for myself in like it, in like a prison sense of like you had to tackle <laughs> the biggest kid and he was the biggest yeah! kid, mm -hmm. I'm going to be a bitch at this school. Mm -hmm. Right. So then I tackled him and started to like fight him. Right. And I got on top of him, straddled him, straddled him. Right. Okay. And what is uh, that called, Blake? Blake, what is that called in MMA that you almost did? Um, I want to. I believe that's called. Is that not that side? Is control. that a rear? Is that a Nick full mount? It's, it's a full mount. It's a full it's mount. A I believe. Full mount. You, you took course. full mount. Go ahead. So I full mounted and uh, and then and then I remember my. Uh, other friend of mine that I grew, ended up growing up with these kids. So this this kid Danny Beard yeah. was like, "Oh my God, the new kid's beating up uh, Adam." And <laughs> you're on the, top uh, of him. Adam's, and he was Adam's, <laughs> no, Adam's beating up. You're like, I'm beating him up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do I have to do to get your respect? <laughs> no, the new kid is beating up Chris. And then, sorry, I smoked weed right before this, guys. And the new nice. kid is be beating up Chris. And then he started kicking my ass. And then we went to the principal's office. And the, the teacher was, or the, we're sitting there before the principal comes in. And Chris just goes, yo, let's just say we're friends. What was that about? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm the new kid. And he goes, let's just say we're friends. I'm like, okay. And then the principal comes in. And we just lied and said that we were best buds, mm -hmm. and got out of got out of it. And then were you friends after that? Yeah, and then after that, it was good. That's what's cool about being a guy is yeah. you can really. Speaking of docking, um, 
Yeah, I, sixty-nine. You dude. could really fight each other and and become friends again, like you and uh, Newichek. First time you guys met. That is true, and we can circle back. I just because you just reminded me of when uh, my like neighbor was a new kid, Matt Ryan. Shout out. Uh, and during recess, he got in a fight with Alton Dennis, and oh, they were damn. going at it, and it was like hands. And then Matt like punched him in the face and broke Ooh. his glasses, uh-huh. and then he was like, "Man." You broke my my glasses. My mom's gonna kill me, dude. And it was like he like stopped. Everyone stopped and like helped pick up the pieces and be like, "No, you can tape that." Like, you know what I mean? It like became like, "Fuck, dude." There's like a there's a greater like a uh, evil that we now we got to work together to like make sure this dude doesn't get like his ass actually in trouble. Home. Yeah, yeah. Those are the strongest bonds. They're forged in hatred. Yeah, it's just the way it is. That's why I, you would say you would think so, but yeah, me and Kyle almost <laughs> fought, and then I don't, I barely know the guy. It doesn't show up for the podcast. That's true. Oh, we didn't even mention that. Where the fuck oh, yeah. is Kyle? Well, we're <laughs> so used to it now. We're so used to it. Oh yeah, the bitch. No, he he's on dad duty. It's yeah. all good. He's being a father. One of my greatest friendships I forged with my buddy Awand. He, the way that we met is uh, he Awand mother. Yes, all on leather, you know it. Yeah, well, he, yeah, we're talking leather goods, all on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, we were on, you know, it was um recess. Stop what you're doing and go to allwandleather.com. <laughs> Does he have a dot com? I don't think that's it. I uh, think it's Awan oh, Custom yeah. Leather. No, but he's got an Instagram. Dude, mm-hmm. I hope he gets some like serious business from, <laughs> mm-hmm. from all these UFC fans that are listening. <laughs> yeah, get, or just get some, some bracers. Get some sick ass like walking into the octagon gear. Whoa, like a sick Damn. leather belt that holds all like your 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 uh, I don't know what you need before like a water. Yeah, bottle. what does he make? Specifically yeah. he or made like, that purse for Kyle, right? Didn't he make yes. that purse? What about like a cool like Vader mask, like Big Van Vader? That would be sick. Like leather straps. Wow, right. Did mankind wear a mask like that? He did. Mankind so had a mankind? sick well, leather If you mask. wanna if you're an MMA fighter and you want a sick mankind Esque leather mask. <laughs> mm-hmm. Go to awandleather.com. <laughs> Let's or, go. Or his Instagram. Or is it? Or his Instagram. Yeah. I think it's Awan Custom. I think it's Awan Custom Leather. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, the way that we forged it is at recess. Who? Um. <laughs> at recess. Awan Leather. <laughs> He was talking shit, and we were talking shit to each other. I don't know what it was about. Probably some kind of like. Uh, we were playing butts up or something, and he cheated. Okay, or huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. What's butts up? I told you guys about it last week. It's yeah. when you throw the tennis ball at each other's ass. But yeah. anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he walked right up to me and kicked me straight in the testicles, like yeah. so hard that it crippled me. Like I went down. Oh, Jesus. Down. Yeah. Not okay. And, so and, he was he was one of those kids that would weigh overreach. <laughs> dude he just knew how to fucking put me down bro i yeah, feel like there that, was that, that kind of fighter it was either kids that are just okay we're gonna fight and see how it goes or a kid that like my neighbor pulled a knife on me because i took his hat as <laughs> right. like a joke you don't kick someone in the nuts that's somebody who watched roadhouse too much or something right <laughs> yeah hey guys don't go to awan leather don't <laughs> you know what i take it back <laughs> freaking see ya well then the thing that was awkward about it is my mom babysat him so he had to go to my mom's after we had to see each other so yes. we we kind of linked up after school like yo like you kicked me in the balls <laughs> like that wasn't cool now we have to go to my house dude that is the gnarliest he straight up kicked you in the nuts well the way that we uh bonded is that there was also this girl we didn't like nancy who mm-hmm. um my mom watched as well and we just yeah. ditched her and hid in a bush and then shout out to nancy that's cats yeah. out of the bag yeah so that's uh sorry that's how nance. We forged, you know nance how we forged um, yeah for sure i mean we talked about this la- it was last week where i did a fucking roundhouse on somebody and then my mom was like do you have a ride home darnell and he was like no he's like oh we'll take you home and i was like i just fought this dude like seven minutes ago mom <laughs> Hey, it sorry is, about it. There's no, it's the mystique is gone. When you're not in control of your life as a kid and your parents are like, we're going this way, that way with whoever, like you can't, you, you can't be cool. Complete, you can't. It's impossible. No. Nah. You're just at the whim of your, of your fucking parents, man. Man, let's, <laughs> let's get into it. Let's talk about you want to talk weather a little more. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Did he, so he kicked you in the nuts. Then it was just game over. You never tried to retaliate. retaliate? 
No. Or say like, okay, you got a nut kick in on me. I have to bitch slap you or do a Cause nut kick. Because what you got to do is go, that didn't even phase me, dude. <laughs> even though you're yeah. like, that, you're like, I got nuts <laughs> of steel here, player. It didn't phase me. Ugh. It didn't phase me. This is, this right, is exactly. nothing. I it think is, oh, <laughs> that's how this is going to go, huh? Okay. okay. Now okay. you're in trouble, buddy. It's it's like that? <laughs> oh, it's like that, huh? You thought you could just kick me in the nuts and I would be just down for the count? No way. Well, guess what? They haven't dropped yet. <laughs> They're still up in my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a weird flappy skin. Dude. Wait, how how old were you? Oh, uh, it must have been like fourth grade. 17. How old are fourth graders? Like yeah. ten? Uh, like yeah, like nine or nine, ten. Nine or ten. Yeah, you're niner. That's so crazy, dude. Isn't nine? it so crazy being like <laughs> no. that? There's nine ten year old people <laughs> in grade in grade four or five. Uh, it's crazy, man. Mm. I will say that that is that is when I imagine being a little kid. It's never being in like second grade. It's never being like seven years old. It's always being like eight, nine, ten, right mm. there. When you're like old enough well, to kind of do stuff. Should we get into what happened around seven, Adam? When your parents are like, "Yeah, you could go hang out." And then you <laughs> throw... Adam's like, from five to eight. <laughs> I can't remember anything. For whatever reason, I blocked it out. Um, okay. I was just, I was actually <laughs> tripping. I think that was the age that my parents were like, okay, you're allowed to like walk to your friend's house. And then that, the freedom of like doing that, I was like, mm -hmm. oh shit. And I could throw rocks at squirrels. <laughs> right. I can yeah. like take so a bunch wait, of berries. No parents? And I'm instantly killing animals. <laughs> 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 you guys, have you done this yet? Goodbye. You can like hold a cat underwater. It's so weird, like, cause that you are so young at the at those stages of your life. But like, do you remember just mm -hmm. just saying curse words all the time, just being like, oh, yeah, fuck, 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 yeah, like going nuts in fourth yeah. grade, just loving it. I remember I told you guys this. Oh, I bet having a fourth grader is going to be super annoying because they're always just like in the room <laughs> going like shit, fuck, fuck. fuck. And you're like, what you oh, say? But now, no, now. Now the kids are just like they're saying all the stuff that pe like people our age say like literally they just say literally constantly oh, right sus <laughs> right yeah yeah they're just saying sus a lot um, yeah that's sus yo <laughs> damn but, but my my eight year old drops sick a lot and I'm like yeah all right could be worse that's kind of sick he's like but dad dude, is this is this encyclopedia sick it's just kind of crazy yeah, dude. <laughs> I yeah, love that crack hey, that dad, shit, is, dude. is like. Knowledge sick? Yeah, get your read yeah, on. Would you bro. consider knowledge sick? I mean, and he's a kid from California, which is just so weird for me now. <laughs> hey, not he's from a... Iowa, like me and Adam. Yeah, it's it's weird that you guys are gonna have a bunch no. of uh, <laughs> California kids. You uh, guys, might, we might ship out to. Uh... Where are you moving back to fucking Nebraska? And then <laughs> no, nah, I'm never, I'm never, I'm never in California. So th they will That's be a, a ha part German, part part uh, <laughs> South Carolinian. That's that kind of cool. That's a cool mix. Yeah. yeah. But then It'll isn't it kind of <laughs> typical, but yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Kind of sus almost. Isn't it kind of a trip though? Because you <laughs> you get to like junior high mm. and you're still so young, but then like people start getting blowjobs and stuff and it's fucking crazy. Right. You know somebody who, I remember hearing a story, they're like, yo, we watched so-and-so fuck so-and-so, and he had like a green condom on, and his dick looked all weird. Dude, it's and all I, and I was like, And I was nine or ten, and I was like, what? Yeah, man, you definitely can't be fucking with no green condom on, have your dick look yeah. all weird when you're fucking in front of a bunch of people. Dude, like an alien dick, and you also, know. what's a condom, and also, right. why are, are you, is he you, wearing one? You just know right. nothing. It's crazy. And it's yeah. all just like rumor mill shit, and it's just insane. It is crazy the people that are like sexually advanced way too young. Yeah, and you're like, what am I doing wrong? Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> you're like, my, I gotta step my game up. I just watch Rocco's Modern Life all day. What the fuck? <laughs> my my very best friend started having sex very young, mm -hmm. and w so we would go, we would hang out as like a, a threesome, and they would like have Whoa. sex. Like at the behind the bed as I'm playing Sega alone, just Fuck and they're like it's like to be a divide from the parents. So it's me like playing right. Sega and right. they're fucking right next to me basically. Yeah. And one time specifically, at what age are we talking? Twelve. 
No, we were probably 14 at okay. this age, right. like 6th, 7th grade. I'm talking about like 12-year-olds. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is insane. That's 14, it's wild. Also, 14 is, if you ever it's insane. see a 14-year-old, you're like, Jesus. Yeah, 14, you're, you're definitely ahead of the curve. But 12, you, and then you're 10 or 9 and you're hearing about this, you're like... So I guess scary. I gotta start doing some sit-ups or something. Yeah, that fucking sucks. Man. Oh, I'm so flabby. I have yeah. to quit eating gushers. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've got to lay off the gushers. I gotta get these breakage off so they don't get caught up in your pubic hair. I think I might have told this on the pod, but they were these two people were having sex. And what kind and of they- sex are they having at 14? Is it like full-on like positions, or is it just like missionary? We did it. Cool. Thanks for guarding the door. I think it's missionary. I don't. I don't really remember a ton of positions. And also, I'm wasn't right. watching. I'm like, but you do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, but uh, you're pretty deep into ultra. But beast. specifically, no, I <laughs> this time, I was trying to look, and oh, yeah, I, I think I'm. <laughs> yeah, and I her her they didn't like complete the their basement, so there was like room between the top of this this the wall. <laughs> And the ceiling. The tip so of the top of the tip of the And so I try to stick my head through to look, mm-hmm. and I'm standing on a toolbox, mm-hmm. and the toolbox slips and falls off the counter, mm-hmm. and now I'm hanging there right. with my head through this wall, uh, choking as my friends look up and see me <laughs> fucking perving on them in the seventh grade. Freaking see ya. Eighth hey, grade, man. maybe? Yeah. Eighth grade. <laughs> yeah. Damn, dude. That could have been really bad. <laughs> What if you died that way? You imagine that's how I died. I know. I mean, could be worse. <laughs> I guess your last couple of hard bodies going at it. You're proud of them. It's your good buddy. Yeah, yeah. He would never true. be able to have sex again. His friend yeah. died. He caused his friend to die. Mm, I'm pretty sure this. I'm gonna put this on Adam. Sorry, I'm not blaming. Uh, yeah, this other dude. Yeah, no, I will. I will take the blame for that one. <laughs> yeah. Just being I, a perfect little seventh seventh grader. I always like when uh, our podcast veers back into very young people fucking. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what like the first episode was about, and then like we get away from it, and that's kind of fun. Yeah, good talk. That's always fun. But yeah, back to twelve year olds. <laughs> It's just about growing up, man. That's what this yeah. pod is really about, is growing oh up. Oh, my God. The fact that now, this is important. <laughs> that school, shit's important. That shit's important. Middle school was like a desperate search to just see a nipple, right? It was like, <laughs> I just got to get there. I got to, like, uh, uh, get to second base. That just has to happen or else I, I mean, can't graduate. You can't walk. You it was, it was a first place for me. I'm like, I just want to kiss a girl. You weren't kissing yeah. girls? I was no. in a wheelchair, man. There was not a lot of... <laughs> It's either I was in a wheelchair or a fucking right, and this is like before the ramps. Before ramps were everywhere, (laughs) it it truly sucked. It was just like the only attention I would get would be like girls would push me to like my next class. I'm like, oh my god, you know what you should have done, dude? (laughs) I got the perfect plan that you should have done, right? Oh shit! So you know how there's like there's two handles in the back. I'll tell my kid when he for sure steps out in front of a truck. (laughs) No, there's yeah, you have to. It'll make you funny. You have to. There's two handles in the back, right? (laughs) You have to do it. Yeah. Yes. you should have like snuck your dick all the way up <laughs> into one of the handles, okay, and then should've. when they grab it, you're getting a hand job, dude. Dude, I fucking blew Goodbye. it. Goodbye. Is it is it three feet long and skinny? Because it could have worked. <laughs> could have. Wow, dude, that's a it really could've. good idea, man. Hey, and you're like, uh, go faster. Now stop. And go fa- and stop. And uh, stop. Uh, <laughs> Adam, you're crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that's some good advice. That's it's weird good. you didn't try that. You could have tried it. I guess you could have tried it. Yeah, maybe. No, I was. I was not. <laughs> Kyle, was what not, do you think? Uh, that that advanced. Uh, that's true. Yes, in, I mean in, this is in, me in as a forty-one-year-old, uh, <laughs> kind of knowing how things work. Yeah, yeah. you're. Uh, yeah. You know exactly <laughs> all the moves to pull. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Freaking see ya. That's I mean, pretty what, cool. What 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 was your move? Like, did you have like a <laughs> Hey, will you wheel me to my next class? Or did they like, did you, were you like batting them away? Like, were they, can I wheel you? Can I wheel you? You said I could <laughs> yeah, wheel you. Yeah, but I, I, I ended what up having fuck? just my buddy, like Walsh, my buddy Kyle Walsh wheeled me to a lot of my classes. And I That's had a few nice friends like that that would wheel me. And it was like a good way to just get out of class like five right. minutes early with your buddy and you guys can go throw pencils into the ceiling. Oh, or, for sure. Yeah. Did he know, you know he was holding on to your dick back there? Yeah. No, he knew. That's why he <laughs> stuck around so long. He knew. Um, I like that. And then he drove you years later. 
as your yeah. assistant. Yeah, that's right. Look it at all that. came full Look circle. Yeah, and I'd crazy, always wrap man. my dick around the steering wheel uh-huh. right before we took off. Dude, the stick, the stick. <laughs> yeah. Work the stick. Work the stick. <laughs> Dude, <sighs> this it, it doesn't have four wheel drive. Yes, it does. Yes, it, it does. does. <laughs> oh, it does. It does. It does. It does. I swear to God. It does. Um, hey, before we get out of here, just pull that parking brake real quick. <laughs> real quick. Now you got to pull it real hard. <laughs> Where's the button on the end? Mm, you it. nasty. Hey, roll down the window really quick. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, the crank? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay. Huh. Yeah, I guess those existed. Huh. Yeah. What else? What else is in a car? Can you adjust the uh, rear view mirror? <laughs> I, I do like the idea of the steering wheel itself being just a lasso of your penis stomp. from shotgun. Stomp on the brakes real hard. <laughs> I, I listen to books, uh, audio books, uh, when I ride my b- bike, you know, okay. and I was listening to David Spade's, Blaine. like, uh, I don't know, recent book, and he was talking about, um, like, his first sexual experience, mm-hmm. and and I'm, I mean, I'm sure I've told this on the podcast as well, but we, what are we at, <laughs> right. like, 90? Well, yeah. You know, you gotta start repeating yeah. the yeah. stories. I don't care. Uh, I've heard them before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't want to make the <laughs> first time I got a blowjob, the girl jumped out of a window right. immediately afterwards. That's David Spade or you? No, so that's me. <laughs> Looking back, you can't blame her. What yeah, does that have look, to do with David Spade's book? <laughs> yeah, well, because well, he because he was uh, talking about his first six sexual experiences, and I was like, oh yeah. In hindsight, <laughs> that is absolutely fucking insane. That that was my first real sexual experience. You're scarred, right? Yeah. Let's unpack this. <laughs> Yeah, let's unpack it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think was it her first or no? I don't want to get into it. This is more that I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I would assume probably not. No, yeah. she was very very forward with me. You guys see the game last night? <laughs> <laughs> Should we cut to commercials? <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, All right. <laughs> Are there games right now? Is it just baseball? Because I'm like, I feel like a naked grandma out here. I'm just dying to watch football so bad. Really? Yeah. Naked grandma! I didn't know you're a football guy. I'm not a football guy, but I like watching. uh, I just want playoffs. I want playoffs. I like watching it every Sunday and Monday and Thursday. (laughs) I I can't get away from it. No, I just just like uh, the intensity of a playoff. Like when everything is like on and oh, everybody's man. playing at their best. I mean, undeniably, or I guess you could deny it, but I wouldn't like you. The last <laughs> season of football playoffs was like the greatest spectacle in athletic history. Every was game good. was unfucking believable. It was really, it was really, and good. that was another rep. <laughs> um, and, and you're ready to get back in. Uh, I'm, I'm ready yeah. for. College football to start. That sure. to me is the most fun. Collegiate football is the most fun. And look at USC and UCLA and the Big Ten. Hopefully, we get the Badgers out here to play a couple of games at the Rose Bowl. Uh, I don't think that that takes hold for like another year. I think that's twenty twenty four. It's not taking hold. It's not taking hold. <laughs> Naked grandma. <laughs> that is. It's a total a rear man. naked grandma. <laughs> that is a rear. Uh, yeah, I don't believe it's taking <laughs> effect. Okay, that's a bummer. Uh, yeah, I know because I'm I'm bummed uh, at that too. It'd be cool to go see Nebraska Dude, kick right? UCLA's ass. Wait, is that what that is that what that means? I'm sorry, I'm like pretty uh, dumb about You're that stuff. What idiot, is that? Dude? Big Ten is like who you play, kind of like your conference, right? You have to play a certain amount of conference games. Uh, almost exactly like your conference. Okay, mm-hmm. so now the UCLA and U- USC are in the Big Ten. Yes, yes. it was a fucking That's... crazy midnight phone call move that they made a couple weeks ago where they are just like, we're in it now. Because like, people are consolidating, people are moving around right now, and now Big Ten is in th- several different time zones, which is just a money grab, basically. It sucks, uh, but it is what it is, and I think it's tight. There's a lot of money moving around college sports right now. Well, why does it suck? Why does it suck? To me, I just think it's awesome. It sucks for like a kid who like has here's to go sucks. to fucking class. Yeah, here's and what sucks. Has What's to dope? Fly to L.A. and well, back. Yes, but they were doing that anyway because like there's tournaments in Hawaii, especially for basketball when the season's super long and hockey and swimming mm-hmm. and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what sucks about it is that there used to be a bunch of conferences, right? So yes. there would be several schools 
per conference that really mattered, right? That everybody tuned in for. And then there'd be like five or so schools that like didn't kind of matter, but they were affiliated with the bigger schools, right? Mm -hmm. So now all these bigger schools are getting together and they're in the same conferences now. And then those other schools, they're kind of getting left behind. And so what happens right. is, think about now name, Im image, and likeness. If you're a kid and you want to go to a school, you got to be off the Richter scale or you're not even going to be playing against any of these teams if you get on mm -hmm. these teams. Mm -hmm. So like all the, right. think about like, a, like mm -hmm. an Iowa State. Like I don't know where they are now. The Big 12 mm -hmm. is fucked. Well... And it kind of <sighs> kind of messes with like the tradition of who you play, right? Like, isn't that yeah. half of what's fucking cool about college sports is that they've been playing each other for like a hundred years, right? Like, wait, are Oklahoma and Tech? I don't know, but are, are Texas left the Big Twelve? Did Oklahoma also leave the Big Twelve? Because that was like the huge rivalry. But I don't even know if they're in the same conference anymore. I don't think so. Yeah, back in the day, Nebraska was in the Big Twelve. Not even that long ago. What, like five, six years ago? Right. And uh, and that was we would play Texas and Oklahoma damn near right. every year, and it was such a big deal. Even though we got our asses kicked by them for the past twenty years. Right. But, mm -hmm. And think about it: if you're a smaller school now, you can't even play good enough schools to be like, yes, we're a national contender. And then at a certain point, it's just going to be one mega conference of. 36 teams and they're gonna be like we're the cream of the crop this is the national championship if you're not in here fuck off nobody cares because you're not that good anyway and then no one's gonna care about the other smaller schools and athletes are starting to make money right like that was the whole thing yes with the name image, image and likeness so like that's fucking crazy are you gonna go to like you know a smaller college that's not getting these tv deals and getting the exposure Tulane Tulane Blake thank you <laughs> <laughs> or are you going to go to fucking uh, Nebraska and, like, get on TV? DuVry? DuVry, that's another college. Let's, let's try now? to name colleges. Mm. Um, Wisconsin, go. <laughs> Should we do um. the name? Like, sorry, A, and then the, the B, and then the C? I don't I mean, know. Be so bad Albuquerque? Does Albuquerque have Very a college? Good. Very good. Uh, Boston I mean, College. Boston College. Brown. Sh University of Chicago. Um, okay. D you said DeVry. DeVry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Evanston Township College. Uh, well, no, mm. what? <laughs> that's just all. That's just almost my high school, but sure. Uh, e. What Emerson? Oh, I, what Emerson? Uh, Emerson. Emerson. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Emerson Lake and Palmer. a lot of film uh, buffs coming out mm -hmm. of Emerson. Um, Fremont is that mm. one? Fremont. <laughs> You're just saying shit, dude. Fucking thing no, sucks. you're not gonna drop Florida State. Hey, okay. I, I, Florida I will State. say that this this is. <laughs> I feel like we've more got boring than Georgia <laughs> when Blake can't remember the names of restaurants that he's I, been to. Yeah, and but what's what's cool is everyone listening is like, dude, I had fucking G. I had G in the chamber. I was ready to go. Georgia uh, State, and way worse than luggage talk. I feel like luggage talk fucking slays. Now we're just yeah. listing things. It only yeah. took us ninety episodes. But 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 here's what's tight about it: is everybody who went to those schools, <laughs> kids who go to those schools right now are like, oh shit, they said my fucking university, dude. I'm a fucking fan for life now. But, <laughs> but Fighting the that. line eye. <laughs> are we on the eyes now? I think so. <laughs> I think he, so. E F G H H. We skipped H. <laughs> University of Hawaii. Hartford. H I. We got the Hartford. L on I, I J J J. What do we got? We let's end on J because I feel like J is not easy. Like a Jesuit. Um, Jesuit. Um, that, that's a university. Word. Yeah, but <laughs> Jesuit. But J. Look at us. We're drawing a blank. Shut up, yeah. bitch. J Jefferson, Jacksonville. Jefferson, do Jackson. they have one? Guys, yeah, you're naming of cities. <laughs> of course they do. There's if a you name a city, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a college there. There's a college of Charleston. You didn't. You never knew about it. By the way, every again, everyone at home right now, they're like, my school has a J. June, Juno, Junior there, College. How many? How many universities are in Alaska? See, I got to Alaska. I knew I'd get there. <laughs> Just when you thought it couldn't get worse, we're now thinking of what many schools are in Alaska. Are there universities? Jesus, Blazer. <laughs> yeah. I, Who I would fucking cares? Are <laughs> Who <laughs> gives a shit, dog? Yo, how this many shit's schools? important, bro? This shit's that important. That shit's important. Fair enough. Hey, fair enough. <laughs> I'm just saying that would be sick to go to school in Alaska. Could you imagine the Ragers? 
You guys just go out and hunt wolves and shit and get fucked up? Yeah, I don't know yeah, if that's you the did, experience. You've always had a weird affection for Alaska, and it is... <laughs> I love Alaska. Strange for me, especially a boy that's not from Iowa who's from <laughs> California. Yeah. It's weird to me that you would just pick Alaska. That's such... Have I you get been? it. I mean, it's cool. Like, Have it's, you been? No. Dude, it's the last frontier. It's gorgeous. It's Should like, we do a live show there in June? I would love I to. Would, or Anchorage? Anchorage is fire, dude. Wait, but hang on a second. Anchorage is fire? Yes. I am go. not kidding. I would like I would like to go. Uh, it's one of the few states that I haven't been to, but but it's weird that you've always that you've always been like Alaska's the shit, even though you went one time. Yes, I had a great time. Look, I, there, there's no denying that the wilderness in Alaska is uh, cold, bar none. <laughs> it's, it's off the chain. There's like the like Grizzly Man. Come on, perfect movie. It's the last frontier. Yeah, it's great. But Anchorage is off the hook. Please give me like a couple Anchorage like. Is the food off the chain? Yeah. What is so sick? Uh, where, where, where is their pounded veal? restaurant that you're gonna recommend no no they actually have a super badass pizza spot i think it's called moose tooth maybe i think it's called okay. the moose tooth okay it's and really it's i actually good. ate thai pizza there and it was fucking good dude i think moose tooth if, if it's the place i'm thinking of i think they have a stand-up show it's it's huge <laughs> i think it's called camel toe it's huge right it's like a huge yeah it's it's a it's a big building, yeah. And then they, they do yeah. stand-up comedy there, I believe. Yeah, it was like a really cool vibe. So wait, and then we book that. Hey, Moose Tooth, yeah. we're clamoring for your pizza. <laughs> We'd love to come do a live show there. I would love I would, that. And dude, then go out in to. the fucking great beyond and yes. fight bears. Yes. Dude, oh, I went to this. Dude. What? <laughs> go ahead. I have a bear story. I'm <laughs> oh, filming, go off. <laughs> I'm filming this new show. I'm not going to say what it is yet because I don't know if I can, but... Uh, I'm in Canada and they're like, pizza, Hey, okay. Pizza. So you guys are gonna be coming up this trail through the woods. So, uh, go back, keep going further, further. And then you're gonna come this way. Keep going, go. And we get to like the end of this trail and there's a fucking bear. What the fuck? And the three of us, are, <laughs> the three of us are standing there with like a PA. She's like, there's a bear, there's a bear on the <laughs> walkie. And then dude, I'm bear, acting bear, with bear. his, he's like, fr he lived in Vancouver for a while. So he's just like, get out of here, bear. And I'm like shitting my pants. And he's like, get out of here now, bear. And the you, bear kind of like lazily pieces out. And then of course, and like, is this person that you're with like a, fa a famous actor? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah. People know him. Who is this? <laughs> And he knew how to handle a bear. He was this he's lived there. He's lived there for years. So he like knew the whole routine. And then like the big buff. And the routine is to say, get out of here, bear. That's the routine. <laughs> you get big and you shout. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there needs to be, yeah, a few more layers to this. You, you shout yell. the bear. That's the exact opposite <laughs> exactly. of what I thought you're supposed to do. I thought you're supposed to This is what I drink in a ball. Back away. <laughs> I, I thought you're supposed to back away slowly and keep eyes on it. I thought that no, that's was the for move. No, you're supposed to be big. You can back away, but you're supposed to be big, shout, and I think that you're supposed to say the word bear because it's got like a buh, like a like a, a blunt kind of like <laughs> So you could just be like going. Beer. Bombastic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because it's Boobies. got like, It's got that pop as opposed to being like air, B -I -B -I -B -I airline. Airline. It's like bear. It's got a like airline. <laughs> right? I wonder if that's how they were named bear. It was like they figured it, like cavemen figured it out that, that those were the noises that bears don't like. Bear. Like bear. <laughs> I think it just like looked like a bear. Um, but fucking it was it was crazy. And then like of course the 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 cock diesel like crew dudes came over and were like Get the fuck out of here, bear. Like, they were ready to fight it. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm sweating. That's so cool. God. Is it real? I want to see cool shit like that. Is there any more bug spray? What kind of bear are we talking? Black it bear? It was a black bear, but it was not small. It was legit. I got a video. I'll try and post it. I'll try and get it. I go back That's tomorrow. crazy, dude. You survived yeah. a bear attack? That's so dope. So you've been there and so back uh, a few times or just, just the once? Or how long <laughs> have you been home? It's fucking crazy. I went uh, last week for six hours uh, and did Ooh. like a fitting and stuff. Welcome to Hollywood. Uh, mm. And then last, I was just there for three days and now I go back for a week. 
And then I come back God for damn. a week and finish that Muppets show here. And mm. then I go back there. It's a and lot of, you know, there. it's like a game of pickleball. God, I wish Kyle was here. Yeah, that <laughs> reminds me of pickleball, uh, the go line. But that's my bear story. Uh, that's great. I was going to save it for a talk show, but, you know. Yeah, you I'll could probably, reuse you it. You still do it. Yeah. I'll, I'll reuse could, it. I was joking totally with the guy it. who did truly scare the bear away that I was going to say I did it. So uh-uh. <laughs> we're gonna lie. You're well, if you guys can maybe do a talk show together, and you guys can reenact, and yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, Kimmel can act like the bear or something. Now we're talking. I'm just Nancy pitching Grimmel! ideas. Uh huh. Shake that bear. I love it. Ooh, good ref. Thank you. If Sweet you know what shake ref. that bear is out there, you're a Google fucking it. weirdo. <laughs> if you're a listener who knows what we're talking about, you're fucked up. You're yeah. one fucked up dude. <laughs> Google it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it time for take backs? <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's time for take sure. backs, apologies, giveaways, epic slams. Um, I got nothing. No, yeah. <laughs> perfect episode. I guess that's what happens when Kyle's like not it's here. A, a perfect ep. Oh, do you guys have any take backs about the episode I wasn't in? Uh-huh. Is there anything you said that was a little off color or not necessary <laughs> that you want to take back now? I don't think so. Uh, no, I stand. I think I stand by absolutely. Right, just everything. thought I'd ask. Just thought <laughs> I'd ask. Was there something that was kind of? Did you listen to it? Did I we, did. Uh, I listened. I listened. <laughs> I thought it was very funny. What was the one about like deodorant or something? I don't know. It's pretty forgettable. But I laugh. Oh wait, dude, we need to talk about. Isn't there like a deodorant team up with Arby's or something? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, someone said it. I fucking was watching YouTube the other day, and like obviously, collabs are like a big deal in clothing. And now, Arby's, we have the meats teamed up with Old Spice (laughs) with a new fucking deodorant or something called is the meat sweats. I mean, it has to be a bit, right? It has to be like it's a bit till they make a billion dollars baby yeah. why why would you want to smell like the meat sweats no you don't smell like the meat sweats it's like this could even handle the meat sweats <laughs> old spice oh you don't smell like gyro or anything oh i thought you're just rubbing <laughs> fucking roast beef on your armpits well I what mean, does it smell like I, well, maybe it well, smells hella good well, <laughs> it might but dude like the collab games who who dude. are these, who are these people who are like yo i'm on the hey arby's it's me, uh, Johnny from Old Spice. I got an idea. You've got the meats. Like, we got, we the cover fuck? the sweat. I saw a pretty cool collab that's coming out with Taco Bell. Where um, come at me? They're gonna have a um, Get like you know me. the Crunchwrap Supreme. Mm. They're gonna replace the little like tostada in it and put in a gigantic cheese. It. Yo, <laughs> cheese. It's it. science. Yeah, they're yeah. making a giant cheese it. And it's inside oh. the Cheez It? Oh, you know. No, the Cheez It's inside the Crunch Wrap Supreme. Oh, oh so God. that's that's the crunch now of the Crunch Wrap? Holy yes. fuck. Oh my God. Dude, yes. I, I thought, you, and by the way, oh they, 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 sh- they should do this. I thought you were going to say they're doing a Crunch Wrap Supreme, like Supreme, the fucking brand was going to get oh, on that shit. Oh, I could see that happening. Yeah. Can you Because ma- nobody would eat it. They would just keep it for years in a freezer yeah. and be like, I don't know. When I'm going to reheat this shit. Uh, I love how popular Supreme is. When I was in Germany, that was like, everyone was rocking Supreme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's They're fucking huge. wild. What a giant company that, that has become. Yeah, yeah it's, it's worldwide at this point. I mm-hmm. think they have a store in Paris. Do they have mm. one in Germany? Yeah, it's right down the street from my hotel. Yeah, That's Japan. Cool. That's Los cool. Angeles. New well, York. Well, they need to collab Do- with Taco Bell. I mean, a, t- a Crunchwrap Supreme with our faces on it. Well, do we? It seems easy because uh, they're. I mean, their clothes are just totally fine. I mean, it just is like a fucking their logo just splattered on it. Well, we should start just... our own company, dude. Um, our own fashion line. Are yeah. You Called Supreme, but it's soup. soup? Yeah, soup. Soup cream. Soup cream. Soup yeah, cream. Yeah. yeah soup cream. Take off. <laughs> I feel like good. I feel like there was a moment where somebody tried to start shirts that said like super lame in their font, like in the box or whatever, because it did yeah. kind of hit a level. Like maybe when they sold to that big company, but like it's still pretty dope. The shit they yeah. make is still pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I like what they produce. I just got, got some, some of their fucking some ski goggles the other day. It is Adam. I don't yeah, know. If, uh, yeah. I don't know. Check it out. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I don't know if it's your cup of tea. Well, Adam's more of a um, Steve Madden. <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> 
This is true. Yeah, I wish I owned Steve Madden. God dang. Send, me, send me my free shoes, please. But when they make like cool like little fingernail clippers for like $150 yeah. and say yeah. Supreme yeah. on them, I'm, cool. I'm yeah. all in. Yeah. yeah. Send yeah, it our and way. I'm not. And I'm not. <laughs> I, they did send me some Supreme Speedo goggles and cap, and I was See? like, that's fucking tough. Well, that, that's fucking cool. That's a thing, yeah. And then everybody at the pool was like, who do you think? You? They were like, hey, fancy goggles guy. And I was like, all right, fuck. A I money bags. <laughs> yeah, it was a issue. I was like, you better off. be fast, buddy. Yeah, I said, no, eat my don't. wake. Yeah, that's a real, that's good trash yeah, talk. Then they beat me. Uh, would you like to take anything back, Blazer? No, I'll give a, a double down special shout out to Alaska, especially to a little town called Seward. Seward, Alaska, probably one of the best places I've ever been. It's just a lovely fishing town. And uh, if anybody in Seward is listening, oh, when the fuck did you go to well, yeah, Seward? Yeah, when were you there? Yeah. When I yeah. went to Alaska the one time, I landed in Anchorage. Blake, I'm and so I sorry a... that you think we know when you went there. Yeah, we don't. We don't. It's, I mean, we're, it's we're such busy. a Adam's little... a globetrotting <laughs> movie star. It's, it's such a little blurb uh, <laughs> in our lives. Yeah. I remember seeing like a photo of you being there looking cold. Yeah, so and when... And being like, oh, he, his <laughs> dream has finally come true of like... He's a Southern California, or he's a California boy. He can Iowa. finally go. By he's way of touching Iowa. snow for the first time. <laughs> he can time. finally go Iowa. touch snow, be cold. Southern California, Northern California, Iowa made it to Alaska. Yeah. Right. I do remember okay. going to New York with you for the first time, and you See? were highly underdressed. You're like, it's really cold. I'm like, we're yeah. in New York like, City. Yeah, you like had a hooded sweatshirt on and shit. <laughs> right. Our manager was wearing flip flops. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Hey, that was a great trip. Is it high tide or low tide? When is high tide? When is low tide? <laughs> if you find yourself in Seward, tell them uh, Blake sent you. <laughs> Fuck. Like, so just people who live there can say that to each other? Yeah, or if, if you go on a visit there, you can mm -hmm. say, right. like, yeah. why are you here? Well, I heard it on a pod. Mm -hmm. And big shout out to I want leather goods. <laughs> I want custom leather and the fighter Puya. Adam Wait, looks down like Poon he had Poon written Poon that note, Poon and I love it. I want leather goods. And I want to get what this right. I want leather goods on Instagram.kizzle. <laughs> I want custom leather, and we hope you're buying a belt. And on that note, thank you, Grandma. Yes. <laughs> Big it's shout out to Puna. Important. Na -na -na. Naked Grandma!